Okay, so we're back and look, I tried to set it to afraid that there would be a bunch of you who couldn't see. So I'm gonna have to look into like the privacy status stuff and we'll get that figured out for next time. So um, we're gonna give you the tips first and then we'll chat after because I know that people who are watching the replay don't wanna sit through a bunch of chit chat, okay? So hey, 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 okay. Four things I wish I had known when I was trying to get my abs to show. Four things I wish I had known. Here's the first. You've got to lift. I spent years, hey from Utah, years and years and years. Deb, thanks for, thanks for sharing. I spent so much time in the gym doing cardio and running and elliptical and, you know, whatever I could possibly do, group fitness classes, turbo kick, Pilates, yoga, all this stuff. I, I, I've been in the fitness industry for over 10 years. I have my degree in exercise physiology. So, um, I've just, I worked at a gym for years and years and years before I had my, before I had my kids. And the one thing I wish I had known in terms of exercise is that you have to lift more than your baby. So if you're a mom, you gotta lift more than your baby. If you're not a mom, you gotta lift more than your purse. I mean, whatever it is, you got to lift, okay? So lifting weights is so important. Hey, thanks for sharing, awesome. Um, cardio may make you smaller, but if you want to tone your abs, you have to lift weights. Now, it's super important that you understand the right type of weightlifting. Um, you want to be productive. You want to be efficient. You want workouts that are um, going to stimulate a hormonal response so that you're not just building muscle, but you're also burning fat. Um, but one thing that I just wish I had known, thanks for sharing, was that cardio alone is not going to cut it. So if you want to get your abs to show, if you want tight, toned abs, you've got to lift weight. You have to strengthen your core. Um, Planks giving is awesome and it's going to work wonders on giving you a stronger core, but you have to incorporate incorporate weight training as well. Body weight stuff alone is not going to be enough and cardio is not going to be enough as well. Okay, so you've got to incorporate your um, strength training with your whatever else you're doing. So that's number one, lift weights. Number two is don't crash diet. So you see a lot of people on social media or fitness pros or in the magazines, they say um, abs are made in the kitchen, right? It's so true. But a lot of times we take that too far and I know I was guilty for years of thinking, okay, abs are made in the kitchen. Yay, Deb, thanks, Deb's my secretary today. Abs are made in the kitchen so I'm just gonna not eat or I'm gonna follow this like whatever crash diet um, to help get my abs to show. And that doesn't work either. You're gonna hear some crying but Patrick's taking care of the boys so don't think that I left them. <laughs> this is mom life, this is our day. Um, so you don't want to crash diet, okay? Yeah, this is real life. Um, you want to lift more than your baby, lift more than your purse, lift, lift. You don't want to crash diet. You want to focus on what we say in Beyond Fit Life, the two Ps, protein and produce. Yeah, go Patrick. He's amazing. Um, and he's on daddy duty right now. I told him like 20 minutes, please just give me 20 minutes. And, um, yeah, oh, I think he's wanting mommy. Okay, I'm going to grab Warren real quick, just one second. And he's also pantsless, so there we go. It's my life. So number one, lift weights. Number two, don't crash diet. You have to find the right way to get your abs to show. You have to do the abs are made in the kitchen thing in the right way. It can't be a crash diet. It can't be starving yourself. It can't be doing crazy juices or cleanses or whatever. Oh, that's not very nice. We're gonna block them. So yeah, we gotta figure out the security stuff. Um, here's number three, prioritize sleep. And it's really hard, it's really hard with these little guys running around, but um, I wish I had known how important sleep is and how, um, how much of a difference sleep makes. When you're exhausted, you don't make healthy food choices. When you're exhausted, you don't hit your workouts with the same intensity yet. You're happy with mama. Can you say hi? Show them how you give a high five. High five. You don't hit, no? 
You don't hit your workouts with the same intensity, okay? You need sleep to restore your body. You need sleep to repair after your tough weightlifting workouts. And you need sleep to reset your hormones. So it's not just about training. It's not just about nutrition, but hormones matter. And sleep is one way that you can impact your fat burning hormones to burn that belly fat and get those abs to show, okay? So number one is lift. Number two is don't crash diet. Um, and number three is prioritize sleep. And here's number four, sprint. You've got to sprint. So I said we're, we're prioritizing weightlifting, but I'm not knocking all cardio. Sprints. Hey, buddy. Okay, let me help you in one second. Well, so about Patrick. I <laughs> Everybody loves mom, right? Um, so adding sprint intervals is amazing because it takes advantage of the epoch. And that's exercise post-oxygen consumption. And it's a hormonal impact um, that, that occurs with high intensity, short bursts of activity. So it's not moderate duration activity. It's high intensity activity that's done for short bursts. And it's amazing. I don't know why you're so fussy. It's amazing. Say hi for fat burning. Now, those are the four tips, and they're super quick. Best time of the day, whenever you can fit it in. Man, if you're a busy mom or you're working or you're crazy, whenever you can fit in your, your workout is great. You just got to be consistent. I want to chat more, and I want to tell you more about how to get abs, but I, I got to um, do mom duty, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Go to beyondfitlife.com slash abs half hyphen by hyphen Christmas. There, Deb's got the link. And I have worked so hard. I've spent months, seriously, months, on putting together guides for you. Guides on, like, all of the stuff you need to know about the best type of training. The workouts are crazy. They are going to work for you. I'm serious. I put together a nutrition guide. You have information on how to track your macros, what type of foods you should be eating, how many servings. I mean, it's all there, okay? So... I'm going to do mom duty because I love you guys, but these boys, you know, if you're a mom, they take priority. Um, and then you're going to go to beyondfitlife.com, abs, hyphen, by hyphen, Christmas, and you're going to join. We start the challenge. It's a six-week challenge officially on November 13th, but we've already opened registration and it's filling up fast. This is our fourth annual abs by Christmas challenge. Oh, yeah. And, um... Yes, that's going to be the training plan that you will follow now through Christmas. That's the training plan. It's my personal training plan. I'm following it. Um, and, and I have a schedule, a calendar that tells you what to do when everything's there. So go there. I'm going to go take care of my boys. It's mom life. It's crazy. But this, these tips work. And um, yeah, so there's the link. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Can you say bye? Say bye. Bye. Okay.